Hello clarinet players, this is Walking the Dog, second clarinet part. I would suggest you practice both the first and second parts in case Mr. Young wants you to play one or the other, and plus it's fun to know how to play both parts. This song has a few notes that I want to make sure you understand. This note here is a low G. You finger it thumb, one, two, three with your left hand, and then one, two, three with your right hand. G. Make sure your fingers fit inside the holes, cover them up. The next note after the G is low A. Thumb, one, two, three, right hand, one, two. There's the G again, and then here is the note B, sometimes called B natural. It's just a B. Thumb, one, two, three, and then your middle finger or your second finger, right hand. These notes are also in the uh, first page of your book. If you want to look up the fingerings, that might help you also. There's also the note E flat. That's an E flat and that's an E flat. Even though it doesn't have a flat next to it, they're both E flats. Same thing here. And then down here at the bottom, that's an E flat. I would finger the E flat. I would finger D. And then add with your right hand this key right down here. Just press this down with the knuckle of your right hand. That's the lowest key on your upper joint. So you finger D and then add, add this key with your knuckle of your first finger right hand. Oops. E flat sounds like this. Some notes are slurred, some notes are tongued. Be sure you play what you see on the page. I would suggest printing off your uh, music from the Google Classroom page. All right, here we go, walking the dog. One, two, ready, go. Count your measures of rest carefully. Here's measure 33. One, two, and go. One. E flat.
skipping ahead. One, two, ready, go. I held the last E flat out longer than three beats because it has a fermata on top of it. All right, I hope that helps. Be sure you look up your fingerings and be sure you slur where it's marked. And I hope that uh, makes the song more fun to play. Also, try practicing along with the recording on your Google Classroom. Good luck!